You're watching ESC News. Thank you for joining us. The Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces and the Commander-in-Chief of the Royal Cambodian Army Lieutenant General Hun Man Knight has stated that the defense sector is the backbone of national duty and a common cause of the Khmer Nation, which includes national defense, religion, king, and the government, who aim to ensure the absolute peace, stability, security, and sustainable development of Cambodian society. On this matter, he said that in order to effectively respond to demands, the defense sector needs to continually be modernized with a clear direction and a long-term vision of independence in regard to leadership, training, and equipment. ESC News reporter Anthony Ellis has the details. Lieutenant Jen Hunmanet made a statement at the inauguration ceremony of the Army Tank Command Building and the opening of the 2022 Armored Tank Training Course in Banabang Province on Thursday, 19th of May. He further expressed his congratulations for the new construction of the new Army Headquarters, which was a gift from the Prime Minister Hun Sen, and said that this building can also be considered a new historic achievement in Cambodia, which shows the progressive transformation of Army Tank Command. He added that this continuous growth reflects the tension and the consideration of the Prime Minister to the well-being of soldiers and their families in all units of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces. Moreover, he said that the Prime Minister provides all levels of support in terms of spirit, budget and resource to facilitate daily work, training, equipment and various facilities, improving the well-being of the Army and Army's families through the construction of camps, shelters, the provision of food and more. Lieutenant General Hun Manet underlined that this because the Prime Minister of Hun Sen himself was a soldier who went through most difficulties in the fire of war. He continues in his speech that the inauguration also shows the strong solidarity between the Armoured Tank Command, the General Department of Taxation and Vatinac Group in achieving tasks that are in line with the Prime Minister's vision of the long-term commitment to establishing close brotherhood between the front and rear battles. This, he said, acts as the foundation of the people's defence and supports the Army's performance in strengthening their entire defence. The Royal Cambodian Armed Forces Deputy Commander-in-Chief expresses appreciation for efforts of the Army Tank Command in the relaunch in 2022 Armoured Tank Training Course after two years postponed due to the spread of COVID-19. He said that his training course responds to the need of strengthening and expanding the professional capacity of soldiers to ensure sustainability in their ability to perform their duties in the future in the long term of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces and particularly within the Army Tank Command. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.